Good morning, everybody. Or in deference to our, our Jewish friends, uh, Shalom. That's the reason I start this way, because the topic of this morning's message is the celebration of Hanukkah. Hanukkah began last night and is celebrated by our Jewish brothers and sisters, uh, most especially here in the United States. Uh, and there's a reason for that. First, let me give you a little bit about what Hanukkah is. Hanukkah is, is called the Festival of Lights, and it is to commemorate a miracle that took place uh, during the, at the end of the Maccabean Rebellion in, uh, in the temple back thousands of years ago, about 200 B.C., the temple had been liberated by the Maccabeans who had were, were trying to restore it to purity. And in order to do that, they needed to burn the menorah, the, the lights in the temple, uh, for eight nights. But there was only one consecrated bottle of oil available, and that would only last for one night. And so they began and they started that, and... The oil never ran out, and it never ran out, and it never ran out, and that one night's worth of oil lasted through all eight nights of the celebration, and the temple was therefore purified. And so the Jews called that a miracle, and they have celebrated Hanukkah since then. It's a lovely sentiment, uh, especially at this time of year. Now, let me dispel a myth, though, for you, because contrary to what the, uh, the, the public view of it is, and what the, the commercial world would tell you, Hanukkah is not the Jewish version of Christmas. It, uh, in fact, in Judaism, it really is more of a minor day as opposed to a major one. In the Christian world, Christmas and Easter, those are the big two, aren't they? But in, in Judaism, Hanukkah, while it's, it's lovely, uh, doesn't even come close to the, the reverence of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. Uh, nevertheless, uh, it has become uh, a highlight of the calendar, I think primarily because it gives non-Jews uh, a way to approach it and a way to relate to it. So for, for Christians who really don't have a great grounding in Judaism, people can conflate the two and say, well, Hanukkah must be like Christmas because they happen around the same time and there is gift giving. Uh, and brothers and sisters, that is really sort of an American uh, creation. While Hanukkah is, of course, celebrated throughout the world, uh, the, the level of commercialism really is sort of an American institution with it. Uh, nonetheless, it is, it is a lovely festival and it is, it is cherished uh, around the world. And um, the way, and you probably know what this is, so I printed this out for you. I, I wish I had a menorah to light for you, but I don't, so I had to go with a prop, but this is a menorah. And this is what is, is lit to commemorate the oil not running out in the temple. Each night, one new candle is lit, and as you can see, there are eight candles here. Well, actually, there are nine. For the ninth candle, the one in the middle, is a little bit higher than the others, and there's a reason for that. That actually is called the shamash, and that candle is the candle that is used to light the other candles. So you don't light these candles with a match or with a lighter. You light them with the shamash candle. And it is one light giving birth to another light. And yet in that light, neither is extinguished. There's something beautiful about that. There's something poetic there. Uh, so why do I talk about this? Well, first of all, because it is, uh, is an important part of... Uh, of Judaism and as uh, as people of good faith and one of the Abrahamic faiths uh, our Jewish brothers and sisters are exactly that our brothers and sisters secondly though I want to really highlight for you uh, something that you probably know but really haven't given a great deal of thought to and that is this Jesus 
never celebrated Christmas. Let me say that again, because it sounds a little strange. Jesus never celebrated Christmas. He celebrated his birthday, just like you or I would celebrate our birthday, uh, or like my, my darling granddaughter, uh, she somehow hasn't quite figured out the whole, the whole birthday song yet, but uh, since it was her birthday in September, she runs around the house now singing, Happy you, happy you. And I love the way she's kind of conflated that. Jesus celebrated his birthday, but he did not celebrate Christmas because, brothers and sisters, you know this, Jesus was not a Christian. Jesus was a Jew. And so Jesus celebrated Hanukkah and Rosh Hashan, and Yom Kippur, and, uh, and all of the other things that are part of Judaism. Uh, and it's important that we understand that and that we recognize that this tradition gave birth to our traditions, and it is the combination of both that really bring us closer to God. Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, uh, 20th century amazing uh, Jewish theologian. In fact, he became the, the Lord High Rabbi for the entire British Empire um, and a particular favorite of mine. Rabbi Sachs said this, for though my faith is not yours and your faith is not mine, if we each are free to light our own flame, together we can banish some of the darkness of the world. And it's beautiful, and it, it puts me in mind of, of another quotation by another great theologian, the Reverend Dr. King, who said, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And so, my brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the, the miracle of Hanukkah, and we've learned a little bit about the Shamash candle, that's my message for you today. Be the shamash. Be the candle that lights other candles. Be the light that brings other light to the world. And in so doing, we are bringing light to a very weary world. And after all, brothers and sisters, that is what God calls us to do and what God calls us to be. God bless you.